What is going on my super sandwiches, Ronster here, and today I'm doing a, uh, an unboxing for a figure that I got actually a long time ago. In fact, I believe I got this figure like two years ago now, but I realized I never posted a video on it, and I did a quick Twitter poll, and as always, if you can, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can, it's just at RhymeStyle, I'll link it in my description all the time. Anyways, I posted a poll yesterday asking if I should do an unboxing for this, just because I never actually kind of showed it off. On top of that, it's a pretty badass figure, and enough people said, you know what, do it, that I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just toss this up real fast. So we're going to go ahead and take this trunks, which if you want to see this trunks unboxing, I will link it in the description below. Put you over here. And we put your Doddy right there so you can just have the, 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 the Super Saiyan duo in the background while we show off this box. Now, like I said, I got this a long time ago, which, which is why the box is so beat up and old. This Perfect Cell was released, I believe, in like 2013. And uh, right now, if I try to look it up, it's very, very expensive. There's always been rumors going around that they might re-release this and would consider the fact that they re-released, you know, Super Saiyan Vegeta as well as... A couple other guys I would not be surprised but if it does come back you definitely need to pick this up because this is by far one of the best SH figure arts Dragon Ball figures ever released so this is the basically the outside of the box like I said it's pretty beat up you got you know cell right there you got some hun or vn action vn. I don't know what this freaking sound effect is but I know what that one is ha from the Kamehameha and yes you do get a Kamehameha effect as well it's one of those uh, figures where you don't usually get any kind of stuff with it uh, or this is one of those figures where you do get something with it because usually you actually don't so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open like I said I've already opened this before so it's not like I'm killing the value already more than killed I had this on display for a long time this is what you get in it you get two things number one you get the Kamehameha effect which uh, is I'm not gonna actually pop this open because it's kind of a pain but it's essentially, essentially it's this right here it's just the wave effect from the blast and then the blast itself uh, so we're not gonna go ahead and open that but again here it is a quick look of it it's pretty badass there it is okay now the most important part the figure so we got cell here's the clamshell let's go ahead and pop it open gently because you know with these figures if you don't do it gentle it's going to explode all over your face wait what um <laughs> let's go ahead and pop this open there we go it's gone all right here it is so like I said, this is one of my favorites, and uh, I remember when I bought this, like, oh great, everything fell up. I remember when I bought this, like, <laughs> I saw it pop up, I got both Frieza and Cell at the same time, and I remember I had just gotten paid for my job, and I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull the trigger, buy this, and just regret it later, because back then it was, you know, uh, I got a thing for like, each was like 50 bucks or so, so I spent like 100 bucks, and back then spent 100 bucks on figures was a lot. Um, but uh, now I don't regret it at all because this figure alone can sell up for like 300 bucks or so or something like that. Some, something crazy. So I'm glad I did that. Uh, what do you call those purchases? Like on the whim or something like that. I'm glad I did that. So first things first, let me just put this down because it keeps falling for, uh, falling down. Here is the neutral self uh, face. Uh, looks kind of goofy because it's not on his face obviously, but uh, I'll show you the close ups of it in a second. Here is the Kamehameha Rage Face. Yeah, that one. And then of course you got the figure. Uh, here it is. This is what he looks like when it's actually all up close and stuff. See, it looks pretty good. Look at that. Nah, nah, I'm Sal. Nah, you see? Let me actually pop that open real fast and show you what uh, the rage faces look like. So let's go ahead and put the rage face on first. As you can see, you just simply slide that piece in there like that. Nah, and then you pop it on top of the uh, the headpiece. Watch me break it. I'll be upset if I broke this. And there it is. See, look at that. Nah, I am Sal. Here we go. Oh, I'm breaking it left and right. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, here we go. All right. Uh, so just like any SH figure, I suppose uh, it's very posable. It's actually a lot more posable than the other ones because it's got a couple extra things like the wings and the shoulder uh, plates that pop out. Uh, but it's it's really good. If you're a fan of Cell, this is easily the best Cell figure you can get, at least in my opinion. I mean, obviously you have the statues that some people prefer statues over the articulated figures, but when it comes out to articulations, this is by far the best one. There you can see his little butthole. See that? That's the Cell butthole. In case you didn't know, that's what it looks like. Cell butthole. I think it pops open. Nah, no, it doesn't. Um, good thing I didn't force that because I could have freaking broke. And uh, it's just great. Like. If there's one figure that I hope that Tamashi Nations was to re-release, it's this one. Just because I feel like as a Cell fan, this is one that everybody would ever want to get. And it's just, just awesome. The other thing, cool thing is I like that it comes with a cross arm. So let's go ahead and pop this on real fast. And you do that just by simply tugging on one arm. Whoop, don't do that. Don't don't break the figure. <laughs> do not break the figure on camera. That would be kind of uh, be kind of annoying. Uh, pop that. Oh, let me just do this off, off camera just so I don't accidentally pull the wrong thing and then break it so just 
bear with me, stare at, um, what's his face? At, uh, Trunks and Vegeta in the background because they want to fight Cell here. You know, these, uh, freaking cross arm pieces are so annoying to put on sometimes. I gotta point that out. In fact, I don't think I already even put the freaking, um, crossed arms on myself before. Because I had them up for display when I originally got them. But I never actually, uh, ever put that on. I feel like that's probably why they stopped including them because they're kind of annoying to put on and they probably broke easily. But just for the sake of this video, I will show you guys what it looks like because uh, if there's any person that's going to break this figure, it's going to be me. So you guys don't have to do it. And there you have it. There he is. Look at that. I am Cell Sama and I'm here to do the Cell games. Let me just put you right here. Now as far as his height, of course, naturally he is bigger than uh, the other characters. Here is a comparison to Trunks. Um, slightly taller than Trunks, obviously he has the little horns that give him the advantage, but that's pretty much Cell right there, pretty badass. Now, let's go ahead and look at the hands, and this is actually released from back in the day when the hands weren't that important, uh, they didn't really release that many, of course you get your standard open palm key blast, which are the top ones, you get these, which actually, I like these actually, they're kind of different, let me pop it out, they're kind of different, because they're like, uh, well this is the Kamehameha hands first of all. But then they also have these, which are like the I'm ready to fight hands, like that, like that. You can just focus, focus, there look at that. So, compared to the hands that they used to release back in the day, where it was just kind of like, they didn't release many of them. Actually, you know what, these hands are different now that I noticed it. Huh, look at that. You learn something new every day. Both of these hands are actually slightly different, because these are the Kamehameha hands right there. And then these are like different. I actually never paid attention to that. I mean, I guess if you keep a figure in a box the entire time, it's kind of hard to tell, so... So yeah, but there you have it. Perfect cell. This is a perfect figure. I I don't know. I think so. I think it is honestly. Uh, compared to the other ones that exist, this is by far one of the best looking ones, and definitely lives up to its name of perfect. Perfect cell. Look at that. So again, to those who missed out on this, uh, there are rumors that these rumors have been actually existing for months now, and I don't know how legit they, how legit they are because. Like I said, usually when they announce stuff or when something leaks, they announce the officially the official return fairly soon. But this figure has been literally, you know, in circulation and talks of being re-released for months now. So I don't know if they're just trolling or if they're fake or if they're just kind of like holding it in their uh, bank of figures to release eventually. But like, if it gets announced, I will let you guys know. But for now, picking this up, uh, it'll be slightly expensive, and by slightly expensive, I mean very expensive. So it's really up to you if you want to spend that much. But honestly. I would just try to wait, just because seeing how uh, Tamashi Nations has been with their re-releases, I would not be surprised if they announced this in a advanced color eventually. And the other thing is, uh, let's talk about advanced colors for a second. While I do love the fact that they're slightly different from the original releases, the advanced colors uh, re-releases are honestly kind of bullshit. Because like, for example, this is this is the, this is the re-released Vegeta. This is the advanced color Vegeta, and the only real difference is the fact is that his hair is kind of like gold. See how Trunks is like yellow? It's just pure yellow, and then uh, Vegeta is kind of like goldish. I call it the macaroni uh, macaroni and cheese color gold. That's what they mean by advanced color. Uh, honestly, even though I'm a collector, I'm, I'm a fan of these figures. Let's just be real here. Like Tamashi, just just drop the figures again. Give the different box something, I don't know, call it a re-release, but like the whole advanced color thing is just kind of uh, BS, at least in my opinion, I don't know. But either way, if you can pick this up sometime in the future, I highly recommend it, but for now, that's pretty much everything. Uh, is there anything else I want to show you? Let's go ahead and just, uh, I mean, you know what, screw it, let me just show you the, the blast. Here is the Kamehameha blast, here we go, let's go ahead and pop this off real fast, because it takes approximately three seconds to set up, literally, because it's just, it's three pieces. So you got the initial ground, uh, pop that in there, like that. Uh, it smells like plastic, good old plastic. And here's the, the blast. Here, we'll, 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 put, we'll put it in front of Vegeta, like, yeah! See, look at that, look at that blast. And then of course you got the, the, uh, the, the dildo, the Kamehameha dildo right up here, look at that, bam. Hey, it's actually kind of badass, look at that. Final, f okay, I broke it. <laughs> Final flash, there it is. There it is, all right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's pretty much it, so yeah. Anyways, uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to drop it in the comment section below if you're thinking about buying it. If you have you know, any last things you want to ask, uh, feel free to do so. I'll do my best to answer. But other than that, Perfect Cell is quite perfect. And if they ever release it, I'll let you guys know. So stay tuned for that if it ever happens. But for now, 
He is going to be in the collector vault, and I'm going to put him back in the box so he doesn't get ruined. Even though I just completely killed the value of it by opening it again. But it's not even matter matters because, like I said, the box is pretty beat up. I had this for a while. Look at that box. Look at that box. Look at this beat up ass box. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Anyway, so if you have any questions, like I said, just drop me a comment. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like right below or sell will find you. And he will probably just do nothing because he's a toy. But he'll find you. Well, actually, no, you won't because then you want him to find you because then you'll have one. You know what? He'll just blow up the earth. He'll just blow up the earth. So let's prevent that. Uh, and you can prevent that by just leaving some support in the comment section below. And I guess other than that, um, I will see you guys in the next unboxing, whatever that happens in the future. I think the next one that's coming out is going to be, I believe it's Whis. And he's not until August. So until then, we probably won't have that many unboxing videos on my channel. But uh, I don't know. Actually, no, I take that back because they just announced Broly as a Comic-Con exclusive for next uh, for this Comic-Con in July. So I might, may, no, I don't know. I never actually opened my uh, Comic-Con exclusive, as you can see, they're up there in the right section. So I might just, I don't know. I might just post that one on Instagram, honestly, but if I do an unboxing, it's going to be a small chance of that happening. I mean, essentially it's going to be just like that Broly up there. It's just his hair is more with a greenish tint as opposed to yellow, and that's basically what they're going for this year, but yeah. Anyways, I talked too much now, so I'm going to go ahead and leave right now. So I will see all you awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.